What's going on, everybody? Scar Time here once again with my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Yo. <laughs> Brother Stogie, this is going to be our last video for 2020. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a little break. Yes. We got some exciting stuff planned for the new year already. Can't wait to tell everybody about it. But right. they're going to have to wait. Yes. They're going to have to wait. But Brother Stogie, why don't you talk a little bit about what this episode is going to be this today. 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 I got you. It's a road trip. Hey, check this out. So people have, so people have commented and came to the Titans and was like, hey man, why don't you do a video about cigars versus cigarettes? Now, Brother Stogie, full disclaimer, you've never- I don't smoke cigarettes. You don't smoke cigarettes. I don't currently smoke cigarettes. However, I decided I would be the one to take on this daunting task today since I used to smoke cigarettes years ago, back in my late teens, early 20s, so. You handled it. So, uh, I'm, and also, this, <laughs> make video, the this video will cover as well all the folks that kind of comment and kind of, you know, approach me and Cigar Titan and public them all, hey, yo, man, Cigar is just as bad as cigarettes. Uh -uh. <laughs> we'll cover that tonight, y'all. You ready to get started? Let's give it to them. Welcome back everybody. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, this one is going to be about cigars versus cigarettes. It should be about that bright ass sweater you got on. <laughs> <laughs> that is the loudest fucking sweater. <laughs> my bad. The loudest sweater you could have found. Have mercy. I figured since we only had one more episode to shoot this year, I would try to get us into the holiday spirit a little bit. And rock one of the, uh, that's the a lot. ugly sweaters. That's a lot of bit. <laughs> that's a lot of bit. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the office. <laughs> so, Brother Stogie, today uh, we're doing cigars versus cigarettes. And I, I got to be honest, I'm not 100% thrilled. I'm a little jealous that I'm going to be sitting across from you today watching you enjoy a nice cigar. What do you got smoking today? I am I am smoking the Casa Cuevas Maduro. Boom. And Robusto. And Robusto. And you're smoking the Casa Cuevas today for what reason? Actually, this is in, so check this out. So I got my bro, right? So I was like, hey man, so you gonna handle the whole cigarette thing? Cause ugh, I'm not gonna do it. But for you, out of Brother Stokey's Humidor, because of this joyous occasion, I will give you the Casa Cuevas Reserva Maduro. Yeah. And why? Because our, <laughs> our close friends at Casa Cuevas, Mr. Lewis Cuevas and Denise Cuevas just celebrated their 26 year wedding anniversary. That's amazing. So congrats to you too. Congrats. You guys are beautiful. I love that old school pic y'all put up on Instagram when back when Lewis had hair. Because <laughs> you, you, if you know Cuevas like we do, he ain't got no hair. Yeah. But in that he picture, rocks it though. you know what I'm saying? He, he had plenty back in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so shout out to y'all. Happy anniversary, you guys. We love your family. We love the love between you guys. And it's just awesome. All right. So today you're having a Casa Cuevas. <sighs> Man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm actually going to be smoking uh, Camel Crush. So uh, the, I guess you could say, unique thing about the Camel Crush is that there is a little area on the filter of the cigarette that you can actually press in, crack, and make this a menthol if that was something you so chose to so do. So explain what that is. I have no idea what that is or even what you're talking about. So <laughs> Menthol, and you know, I don't even know if menthol is going to be a thing here in the near future because there's been some laws that were recently passed. I don't know to what extent those laws or areas that those laws cover. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just a California thing or if this is going to be more of a nationwide thing, but uh, they're going to be outlawing menthol cigarettes. So menthol cigarettes is kind of a minty, fresh, I guess if you call it that, taste to your cigarettes. Um, like icy hot? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. I mean, uh, it tastes like if you had a mint in your mouth and you were to suck in air real quick, that kind of taste and feeling you get, that's, that's kind of what you get. Now, one of the biggest differences between the cigars and the cigarettes is that you're supposed to inhale cigarettes, whereas with cigars... You do not. You do not. Um, and so, if you look, just to a quick size comparison here, this is an average cigar and you can see 
Uh, maybe the ring gauge on this is a two. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? This, this is probably the smallest, the smallest scale of a Robusto that you can find in a cigar. Yeah. Yeah, so much smaller. Uh, and the time that it takes Brother Stogie to actually get through uh, just his one cigar here, I could probably polish off an entire pack of cigarettes. Although I do not recommend that. Well, we're not gonna do that tonight either. This is just for demonstration purposes. You know what I'm saying? And after he finished doing that, he gonna get back to his cigar smoking. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the the so with cigars, check this out. So the whole thing about cigars, remember you have your wrapper, your binder, and your filler. You know what I'm saying? It comes from all different origins of the world and make up, you know, it's in one beautiful stick with all these different flavors depending on how it's grown and with the shade and the sun that it gets. Here's the complexity that we have already going on just for cigars. Yeah, right? So, back to cigars. All right, so the purpose of cigars is just to enjoy the flavors that comes right. out the wrapper, binder, and the filler. You know what I'm saying? So, first third, second third, Last third, you know what I'm saying? You're getting hints and notes of leather, pepper, spices, bacon, spices, butter, buttery toast, funnel cake, sugar, blueberry, <laughs> pina colada, if you name it. You know what I'm saying? This is what you're supposed to get and enjoy coming from a cigar. So, I mean, is there a such thing with cigarettes? I mean, there are some flavored cigarettes. I think cloves is probably the closest thing you can get to like flavored cigarettes. I know they have different things. Uh, that you can buy cloves if I'm not mistaken though And I don't know if this was like an urban myth or what but I, I heard that cloves actually have like hints of like fiberglass In uh, there, but I'm not hundred percent sure you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong You know the closest thing I came to with a flavored cigar So this might outdate me, you know what I'm saying? I think the one thing about the outdate me is the fact that I'm about to mention ice cream truck, right? You don't see ice cream trucks too often around That's true anymore. At least in my neighborhood. But you remember those those candy cigarettes? Yeah. It's yeah. actually a Way little back pack in the day of when candy we were kids. cigarettes. You right. can actually, I, I remember doing it too. Take a little puff, a little bit of dust come out, yep. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you just, you just the eat little it. powdered sugar yeah. they put on there. Yeah. You just eat the cigarette. I remember that. That's close as I'll come to a cigarette. That's about <laughs> it. And so, Brother Stogie, another big difference between cigarettes and cigars is how many chemicals are in a cigarette versus a cigar. How many chemicals are in a cigar? Typically. Zero. Zero. Unless you you're, know why? Unless you're dealing with maybe like a flavored or infused cigar and then there may be some chemical stuff in it. Okay, but check this out though. So when you go to like a regular premium cigar, all you have is it's just leaves. You yep. know what I'm saying? It just leaves, whole leaves rolled up into one beautiful stick. So, I mean, even if you get like a gas station stick, you might get you know, some factory, fact, some factory made wrappers, and you might get some straps and scripts of, you know, what's supposed to be a real tobacco leaf, right? So that'll make kind of your, your least of premium cigars. But uh, I don't even know where I was going with it though. All that <laughs> we were talking about what kind of chemicals <laughs> were in there. Yeah, okay, so back, all right? Gotcha. So it just leaves the cigar, right? So when you get to like your infused cigars, you still have your wrapper leaves, but the chemicals that are usually in that are usually like your chemicals of your cognac and whatever right. they're trying to, you know, infuse in the cigar, they're spraying it on there. So I don't know if that really counts as a chemical. I'm sure there's some chemical in there because a lot of the times they're using like artificial flavors and stuff like that. I'm sure there are some very minor, but nothing like what you find typically in a cigarette. Your average cigarette on average has over 400 chemicals including Carson, uh, carcinogenics in a cigarette. Not Johnny Carson. Not Johnny Carson. Carcinogenics. <laughs> that dangerous stuff. And uh, you know, when you're smoking it, it's a, obviously it's scrap tobacco. It's just fine little pieces of tobacco that are basically put into a paper-like cylinder. And you can see, you know, the tar on the back of this. And I'll show you the end of the filter when we're done. And you know, back in the day, back in you know, like in the 50s and stuff, before filters really started to gain popularity uh, among, it was primarily among females, uh, female smokers. They used to have, you know, most of your cigarettes back then, like your Lucky Strike and stuff like that, actually used to be filterless, and you would just smoke it without the filter. And you know, that's that's a pretty harsh chemical smoke when you're smoking cigarettes without a filter. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> So the next thing we'll get into, you know what I'm saying? Cause I had I got one, one, one friend of mine was actually a friend of my wife's. She was like, hey man, you know, cigar, cigarette, this is a bad cigar. I was like, hold on girl, calm, calm down. Take a step back. No. 
He's like, one thing you don't do is you don't inhale right. cigars. You inhale cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? So that way, I mean, with cigarettes, you're taking in all this nicotine and so much nicotine, depending on your personality and your, you know, characteristic traits, can become addictive and all that stuff. That's not what cigars are about. You know what I'm saying? You don't inhale, like I said before, early in the video, it's just to enjoy the flavor transitions that come from cigars. Yeah. So that whole addictive personality you get with smoking cigarettes, you're not gonna find with Stogies. Yeah, a lot of the times what I found with people who are regular cigarette smokers, and not knocking anybody out there who is, you know, to each their own, but, uh, you know, it's a lot of people smoke cigarettes strictly for the nicotine kick that they get out of them. And so, uh, I used to work with somebody who, you know, this was years ago when I was working in a restaurant and uh, one of the um, culinary managers that I used to work with back then was a big cigarette smoker and I swear uh, this guy was outside in the back it seemed like every 15 minutes smoking a cigarette because they're looking for that nicotine kick. It's not something that you typically find with cigar smokers. A lot of cigar smokers don't get addicted to cigars. You know, when I'm out traveling throughout the week, you know, I'm out on the road, I don't smoke at all. And I don't mm -hmm. feel the need to have a cigar. I don't feel that urge where I'm, I've got to sit down and I've got to have a cigar. It's just something that I typically enjoy when I get home. I think the only trait that cigar smokers developed is that they just can't stop buying them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, we, <laughs> go, we go to brick and mortars, and, you know what I'm saying? See, I mean, don't drop a cigarette ash in my, in my <laughs> wine, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you go to brick and mortars, you're buying cigars, now you're meeting new people, so right. makes, makes, makes you buy more cigars. Plus, you can smoke the cigar, it's like, two, it's like, you know, two hours long, and then, like, you met some really good people in there, so you want to stay longer, so you buy another cigar. And then you got Cigar International magazines coming to your house, you know what I'm saying? They got all these bundle <laughs> deals, Oliva <laughs> deals, That's right. you know, Nub Siri deals, you know what I'm saying? You got all the Shit, I can buy some more. That's like 20 sticks right there. You know what I'm saying? Then, like, you get, well, hold on. Well, I want a monthly cigar, cigar subscription from cigarclub.com. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not, I'm not a subscription owner now. You know? right. So, I got more cigars coming. <laughs> so, we're shopaholics. That's right. That's right. Well, and just to put this out there, too, we're not necessarily saying that cigars are healthy or anything like that. It's still smoke. You know, so like with anything, there's always going to be a risk no matter what you're doing. So right. I just want to put that out there. But when it comes to strictly cigars versus cigarettes, I do think that cigars are a lot less harsh on the body right. than your cigarettes typically are. And just a couple of other things, you know, the way that cigarettes, we were talking about the way that cigarettes used to be marketed years ago when we were growing up and we were kids. You know, they had the little gum and the candy cigarettes. You know, you couldn't open up a, a magazine anywhere without seeing- They had cigarette commercials. That had cigarette, you know, they had cigarette commercials. Actually, they had cigarette commercials that were directed towards kids. I think this was back in the 60s, if I'm not mistaken. There's actually, if you go online, I'll, I'll put it up here, but if you go online, you look on YouTube, you can actually find an old Flintstones cartoon commercial where they're sitting there smoking cigarettes, talking about these cigarettes that they enjoy. They sure work hard, don't they, Barney? Yeah. I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Um, let's go around back where we can't see them. Gee, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? I, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston's got that filter blend. Directly marketed towards children, which is completely unheard of and not something you would see these days. You already got twerking now marketed directly <laughs> towards children. So I'm just about done with this. I'll All right, com comment, more. tell him, you know what I'm saying? You and you'll see there. Tell them to put that out and get a cigar. I'm gonna do one more for the video. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was for y'all. You know what I'm saying? That was for our, our viewers right more there. For the you see the look on his face. It's disgusting. So oh, I'm, oh, he's about to pipe up another one. Okay. One more for the video. All right, well, I'm gonna keep right. on smoking my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to Casa Quay with them. So if y'all can see how fast he blew through that first one. I'm still in the first third. Of my, and I can already tell stage. you, the, the nicotine from that first cigarette is already hitting me. I can already feel it. You get 
especially if you have not smoked, you know, cigarettes for a long extended period of time, mm. that nicotine will hit you pretty quick. It gets in the bloodstream, makes you a little dizzy, a little wobbly. Um, I can already feel that from the cigarette. Um, a couple of other things too, you know, it, when you go into a lounge, like I know we're here in the Stogie Den today and we've got uh, some decent ventilation coming through here, but one thing that I really honestly, truthfully can't stand about cigarettes is just the smell of a cigarette. Before a cigarette's lit, actually smells okay. Like the tobacco and everything smells okay. Once a cigarette is lit, I can't stand the smell of cigarettes. The smell that it leaves on your hand, there's a very chemical-like smell mm -hmm. and taste to the cigarettes that you just don't get after smoking premium cigars for so long. I mean, you smoke these premium cigars and... That smell is heavenly, y'all. Oh my you gosh. You smell, you smell a cigar, you're like, who's that? Yep. Where they at? <laughs> Where they at? I hope you got an extra one, <laughs> right? <laughs> hope you got an extra one. So, so we talked a little bit about cigars versus cigarettes today. I don't know that... Uh, I let's hope take, we don't have to do another episode like this. We won't. Let's, let's take a break. Let's take, let's take a break. While you go ahead and finish that off, and you know what I'm saying, let's get to some some, some business real quick. Let's do it. You know, what I'm saying? hey man. So we we announced last last video that we are giving away a Christmas box from CigarClub.com. This is the home of CigarClub.com. So awesome! This last video, how many entries we had? Man, for... it was a slew of y'all. Yeah, man, it a was, slew. It was something else, right? So. Hey, we tally it all up, put my little randomizer or whatever, and no, guess what? We got a winner. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas from Pinky Knuckles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you got a box from cigarclub.com. So, right. hey, if y'all know who he is, you know what I'm saying, and he ain't watching this video all the way through or through, go hit him up, but if you don't want to, because if y'all answer us back in five days, we gonna come back and do a little mini video to announce another winner. That's right. All right, so make sure you watch this video in its entirety. You want a cigar box, all right? You, you want, want some sticks. You want that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> those you know what I'm saying? Don't let somebody come up on your <laughs> stick, all right? Because <laughs> somebody out of all those entries we had, it was like, I hope you don't get it. I hope you don't get it. He ain't gonna get it, because I want it, right? <laughs> Congrats, man, congrats. So, and that's not gonna be the only contest that we're gonna be running come oh, next year. We've got some other exciting things. We might as well tell them doing. now. You wanna tell them now? Yeah, so they can prepare, man. I mean, cause, 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 I mean, cause we got the old timers, and then the new people that's gonna come in, and be like, well, well why, they, why we gotta wait for them? Y'all can tell us now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we might as well get everybody prepared okay. for, for next year. So check this out. So 2021, right? We are gonna do a major giveaway. This is going to be our first Cigar Titans major giveaway on the channel. Sponsored by Cigar Titans. Sponsored, sponsored by, by Bound and Smoke. Yeah, sponsored by Bound and Smoke. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So we are taking off with the whole Bound and Smoke thing next year. You know what I'm saying? Taking off with the apparel because we're going to get some things done. So I'm taking a break, all right? So be patient with us when we, when we come back. So check this out. So we're going to do a giveaway, but there's some prerequisites. What's that? So we are looking to get to 2,500 subscribers and we were really looking to have the community get behind us and start sharing these videos, putting it out there on message boards and you know share it through different social media networks. Once we get to our 2,500 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a pretty big giveaway. We are going to give away a humidor. We are, but not just a humidor. We're gonna be giving away a humidor, an ashtray, and a cutter. And whoever wins, you're gonna give us your size and you'll get one of these. That's right. A bound and smoke t-shirt. That's right. You know what I'm Just saying? So, one. like you said, share all your platforms, share us on Facebook, share us on Instagram so we can get these subscribers up. We try to get to 2,500. If we can get 3,000, that'd be amazing. That would you know be what amazing. I'm saying? But 2,500 will be our, our bar right there so we can go ahead and do this big giveaway come January 2021. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you done with that stick right here? I am just about done. You ready to wrap this up? Let's wrap it up, man. <laughs> hey, man. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, mini versus cigars 
Versus. And whatever that shit is, <laughs> we will never ever bring cigarettes back on this show again. So please don't ask us. All right. Hey, but we do. Doing it for the community. You know what I'm saying? But we do love the ideas. Please throw some ideas in the comments of what you want to see from us come 2021. Our Briar brothers, our pipe brothers, we have not forgotten about your 2021 brother. So you would do a better job because he already smoked his pipe. I will do a better job of putting some more content out for our pipe smokers. All right. If you're new to our channel, we invite you to subscribe. Subscribe, hit that subscribe. You know, we invite you, we it. invite you to subscribe. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Come join the Titan fam. You know, we got some strong people up in here, firefighters, you know what I'm saying? You know, essential workers. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Real brethren, you know? Like the video after you subscribe. <laughs> you done about time, man. Stop faking, man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? What was it? You threw me off. Shit. Like. Comment, comment, talk to us, okay? Yeah. After that, hit that bell so you get new notification every time a cigar ties put up a new video for y'all. Alright? I hope whoever won this box of cigars watch this video because we got five days. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's move, baby. Merry Christmas and happy new year, everybody. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>